Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is YMC and I film about language, lifestyle and my real life experiences. So happy new month to you guys. I hope you guys had a good January. Man, I think January just came and went. Like we didn't even feel like January had 31 days, just like that and now we're in February. Anyways, um, welcome to the month of love. I know February is the month of love so I'm going to show you guys love today. Like today this topic as you guys can see below you already know what we're talking about today so i'm going to be touching on this subject because there are so many people that have come to my dm in instagram and they're always asking me like yeah see i want to study in france but i don't know how to go about it um, because i don't know how to speak french so if you're new to this channel and you've not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button below and subscribe to this channel just give this video a thumbs up before you even continue watching just pause this video as it is now give it a thumbs up and you know subscribe to this channel if you have not because that is going to help us to grow so many people have come to me in my dm on instagram and they've asked me let me see i want to study in france but i don't know how to speak french i i only know how to speak english can i come or some people will be like oh i'm very interested in 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 maybe a particular subject and i really want to go in i want to pursue my career in this um in this um, line but i do not know how to go about it and i really want to come to france because i want to study in france and i do not know how to speak french so guys i'm bringing you good news like if you're coming to france and you want to study come don't let anybody hold you down from achieving your goals my dear so i'm going to be answering your questions here even from my last video i'm going to link up the last video if you've not seen that video please um watch the video you can even pause this one as you're watching it and just go and watch that video then come back to this one anyways as i was saying the person asked a question um let me just read it for you guys i'm going to attach it here so the question that the person asked was um hey how are you i'm planning to apply for master's degree in finance at Grenoble university so i want to know which language they are they use for the interview especially for international students so now um to so respond to that question right um there are two sides to it now if you're coming to study in france you have to necessarily know what course you're coming for and know what you want to do as your career like this person said he wants to study finance now okay fine you have to now look for schools that are offering that course that particular course you're interested in so after that you look at the requirements and stuff then you just follow the process and you know when you're ready for um, applying they will definitely tell you what language your interview is going to be so for for example if your course the, cho the course you're choosing is in english definitely your interview is going to be english for example myself i did a master's um, degree and my course was taught in french so definitely you're not going to do a course that is going to be taught in french and i mean they, they, they would definitely want to access your level of french language for example for my course the minimum level before you can do that course um, for master's degree because it's taught in french you have to have a b2 level minimum in french language so definitely if you're going for a course that is in english definitely you have to like not speak english language and your interview will be in english so i think that answers the question uh, moving on if you're actually looking to study in france and you don't know how to speak french i don't think that should be a problem right um you can actually come to study and i mean most of the courses that are even taught in english um they, are, they offer french courses like for example if you're studying in english language they are going to make provision for you to you know learn french too by the side like you have classes with other people from different departments and you guys will have like french classes together depending on your level of french so if you're a beginner you have to definitely start from a1 level that's the beginner level so if you have like a more advanced level maybe like intermediate level or maybe an advanced level they'll put you at your level and that way you can be learning your course and at the same time learning french language and i feel like this is really important because um there are so many people that you know think that you can just stay in a place and you would not adapt so what i would say is that keep your mind open be open-minded to learn new things i mean even after your um, career you have to look at the future what next what's next after my career what am i going to do like after my degree when i'm done with my masters or maybe my phd what am i going to do after so you have to look at those things for example um if you're a student and you have to do like internship in the in the course of your study you're in france <laughs> you have to definitely like do interviews to get internships or maybe jobs after you have to learn how to adapt i mean in the language aspect now for example um you want to apply for internships you have to there are some companies that accept cover letters only in french and your cv has to, so you can't just say oh because um i, I speak english i will now you know <laughs> learn at, at least incorporate french into my da daily life or into my career 
you have to like have your CV in French and have your CV in English depending on which company um, you're applying to. So there are some companies that don't even look at the language. You can apply in English, they'll reply you. There are some companies that they are really like about the French, then you have to like apply in French. And then maybe when you're invited for the interview, then they'll ask you, okay, which um, language are you more comfortable with to um, have your interview? You're the one that would now choose that, okay, um, can we have the interview in English? And they'll be like, okay, then you guys can go from there. I mean, so, but the fact that um, you, you're not a French speaker, right? I would say that you need French and you don't need French. You can decide on your own, like as a as an individual, you have the right to, you know, decide yourself. You can say, oh, I can, you know, I, I'm just coming to school. I'm just coming to have the knowledge. And when I'm done, okay, that's it for me. Like, I'm okay with that. But if your plans are more of like a long-term basis and you know that you want to like stay in France, like after your studies and stuff, definitely you have to look at ways by which you can improve your language and um, um, proficiency. Another thing I want to talk about now is when you're a student, right? Um, you definitely have to also integrate with other students. Now, let me break it down for you. So, um, imagine if for example, you got your admission, you did your interview and it went well and you've, given, you've been given your admission letter and stuff and you're coming to France to study and you've even got into France or maybe you've not even got to France yet, right? Now, you're, com you're traveling from a country to another country and the official language is French language now. You have to prepare your mind that, okay, when I come out, when I come out from the airport or when I come land into this country, how will I find my way around if I don't know how to speak French, right? You may be lucky to actually meet people that speak French and English that would help you like in, you know, finding your way around for the first time. But I would suggest that you also, there are so many books, I mean, traveling books that you can buy that shows um, different um, like French and English, like the translation, they would show you like how to ask for certain things, like just short, short sentences. Like for example, if you want to say hi, you can see, there are some books that give you like examples, hi bonjour or maybe like good afternoon please i'm looking for this this is like they would they would definitely have books that have translation so i think that the best thing for you if you're traveling or if you're you know looking to come to france like if you've gotten your admission as um in an english study just try to get trust and um, books that have those um, translations that you can you know um read study before um traveling so that when you land you're not going to be lost you get like because everything is going to be like in French the metros I know there are some places that you can see like translations um, there but I feel like you should also make an effort to be able to ask simple simple questions and make like simple statements in French language another thing I'm going to be talking about is um, um, the social life like in France especially if you're going to be schooling in Paris the social life is like top-notch so um imagine if you're coming as an english student and you're like oh i don't want to learn french language i don't want like it's none of my business and stuff like that let me tell you you're going to miss out on a lot let me not just lie you're going to miss out on a lot of things like i won't even lie to you so imagine if you're having like get togethers i know like your classmates definitely will like be speaking english and will be english speakers too but like to be able to like you know profit from the whole social life the social experience itself you have to like meet new people meet new friends maybe from your residency or from like just i mean just meet people and you i mean they will converse with you in french so knowing little little words I mean, learning little, little words um, will definitely help you on the length, long term to integrate properly into the French um, culture and society. So to respond to the question of do I, know, do I have to um, know how to speak French before I can study in France? The answer is simply yes and no, depending on your own choice. So you can say yes, um, I have to learn French, fine, it's going to be good for you because in your in your um, course of study they would add like french language to some of the courses you're going to be doing um, by the side so you can say oh i'm going to be serious with it i'm going to like have like good grades i'm going to be serious and learn the language that would, and it, it will definitely go a long way for you so it can be yes for you and it can be no yeah you, you can be like oh um i'm okay with my english i, ne I don't necessarily have to learn the language maybe you're not like a you're not like passionate about learning new things maybe um, that's your choice that's left to you but i'll just say that from the things i've mentioned you should be able to know um which one favors you more right so i think everybody has a will everybody has their choice to make so 
you, is the choice is left to you which one do you want do you want to like live in a country where um, or study in a country where you don't even want to like learn the language or whatever or maybe you, you like you don't even just care like just leave it like that <laughs> anyways the choice is yours and i would say that you should consider which one is good for you on the long term so it depends on your goals it depends on your aspirations it depends on your desire if you are looking to stay after your studies on the long term i would say that um you should make efforts to you know learn the language and if not if you're like okay after my studies i'm leaving or after my studies i'm going to like look for opportunities in other other places then fine it's good for you so you should make your choice and you're an adult i mean <laughs> so you should be free to make your choice and be like okay um if i want to adapt fine you know if i want to integrate in the social life if i want to have new friends if i want to meet new people fine like yeah we are free to do that but if not um i mean you can also choose the other way and say oh i do not necessarily have to learn the language so i mean the choice is yours so I, was, I think i've answered the question so i hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video um if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button below subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and um share this video to your friends your family members and everybody around you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye